everyone. I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I want to talk to you about an issue I've been dealing with uh, during this pa these past few several hours. So you may have noticed yesterday or earlier this morning, depending on where you live, that I made a video of my reaction to the Flash season finale. And when you saw it, if you did see it, what it was, it was just a video of the camera pointing straight towards my face and me looking at my TV watching it. And all you could hear was the audio from the show and me talking, giving my actual real reaction to it, seeing it for the first time. And the, th the big issue... Or the bit or f controversy. I don't even know if you can even call it that, but whatever. I'm gonna roll with it. So I posted that, and then I got a third-party claim because, big uh, fuck, what the hell was that song called? Don't dream it's over. That song was playing during Ronnie and Caitlin's wedding, and because that played for, of course, because it played for maybe two minutes at maximum just because that played for two minutes that means that umg decided that they had the right to take away the revenue that i would have made from the rest of those 55 minutes of that 57 minute video fuck that shit and then later on so i thought okay you know what i've got i came up with a plan so i went to sony vegas and i took that that full episode length reaction and i threw it into sony vegas and then i cut out all the parts in between the commercial breaks to shorten it up and then i just decided to make this a highlight reel of what i thought were the highlights of that season finale so i did that and it went from around maybe 57 minutes to 28 minutes then i thought okay maybe if i just ha took everything out just put a uh, put in the scenes I thought were the most important and then I would take away that fucking copyrighted song that fucked me over I would be okay and then I got and see I was and I started to feel started to feel good because th I was actually getting lots of views from me based on my standards so I had I it was getting to around 70 80 plus views you know I was that was making me really happy and then I got an email from YouTube saying that I had that the full length version the 57 minute version the, of me watching the flash season finale now has a 50 and now has a worldwide content ID block and it said that this may lead to me um, being losing access to some of YouTube's features. And I'm call and that's when I started to get really pissed off because um there is a lot of lots of channels that I watch that I like a lot that do reaction videos. There's, you know, there's Tyrone Magnus, there's Akasan, there's the Real Rejects. Um who else is there that I watch? There's the movie hoppers, there's um, other people that I'm that are not coming up to my head right now. Oh yeah, there's Danny's reactions. People like them, where they make channels solely, almost I would say ninety percent reactions. And you know me, that's not what I usually do. What I do is I find news about about video games or news about comic books, the upcoming movies, shows relating to Marvel or DC, things that I'm interested in, and I present to you uh, the news that's what about what's going on, and then I share my opinion on it. But the problem is, so the thing is, so that's what I usually do, but you know, I thought, you know what, maybe it would be fun to get into me wanting to do, make some reaction videos of my own. See, well, experiment with it. Try myself doing it. And so, you know, I could, but the thing is, you know, my computer is old. I can't put the video, actual video into a corner. I just can't do that because, um, 
Well, first of all, I don't know how to find the actual video file to do that. I mean, of course, with trailers, it's easy. You download the trailer off of YouTube. But when it comes to the a getting the actual TV show episodes, I've got no clue how to do that. And so it really... So I did it with Legends of Tomorrow, which was a fucking amazing trailer. You really need to watch it. I did it with Supergirl. I did it with... Uh, even before, with Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And then I... Did it with the Batman Arkham Knight trailers, all of that stuff, and so and the, these types of videos have been getting me lots of views, and you know I'm very happy, I'm very grateful for that. I've been gaining uh, a much higher frequency of subscribers in a shorter amount of time, and I'm very happy and grateful for that as well. But the thing that puzzles me, the thing that confuses me, the thing that really makes me th feel like I'm being cheated, the thing that makes me feel a bit unfair um, is, why is it that all these reaction channels, they get hundreds of thousands of subscribers, they get several thousands of views on every single one of these videos, okay, when they have the actual thing they're reacting to in the corner, which should leave them completely wide open for you, for that, for that goddamn awful YouTube uh, content ID bot to just slap all those videos with a third-party claim and take away all their revenue. Except, the thing is, they're not getting a worldwide block. Their videos aren't being pulled down by YouTube at all. You know, and these are people that are full-on reacting to TV shows, like the actual episodes themselves. And yet me, all I do is all I did in this one video was have me just... A, all you do is hear it. You don't fucking see it. You don't hear it. It's just me watching it. Like what you're seeing right now. All you saw was just my face watching it on my TV. And, you know, I, I believe Tyrone Magnus had this as well. You know, he re reacted to full episodes of The Flash. He's been doing that for the past five episodes. You don't see him getting into trouble. So why the fuck am I ha have the one that has to deal with this YouTube copyright bullshit when, I, when, this is, when I'm just trying to do this for just once, just one time. I try to dip my toe in the water and YouTube just bitch slaps me. Why the fuck do I have to deal with this? How, what, what is it? Is it because I'm a small channel? Is it because I have 400, only 409 subscribers and everyone else has hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of subscribers? So YouTube says, oh, they're popular, so I'm just going to leave them alone. But me, because I'm fucking small fry, that gives them the right to just fucking do whatever the hell they want from me? No. I don't want to fucking stand for that. That is fucking bullshit, and I want that shit to fucking stop. You know, I mean, I believe, I believe in equality, and so, if I, you know, if, why? I mean, that's what I want to know. Why, why, so, if I'm being treated this way, why is it that the people that are making, that are, I don't know if they are partnered or channeled or monetized, but the, but the, but the thing is, they are, their videos aren't being taken down. So why is it that when I try to react to a TV show, mine get ta gets taken down almost instantaneously? What the fuck? Yeah, that's my rant. Well, give me your thoughts on this whole issue about my issue with reactions. What are your thoughts on this? topic let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, you can please subscribe to my channel so if you did subscribe because i did react i don't know if i can do reactions any longer but i would have but i would ask you to give to give me a chance on my other videos that i have that i'm going to ma be making that i've made in the past if i try to ma go back to the my usual bread and butter of talking about game and comic book news it, um so I hope you would like to stick around for that, and you can also uh, support me on Patreon, and you can follow me on Hitbox, to where I will be live streaming The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt very soon, when I get my copy in the mail from Gamefly, so yeah. So I don't know if I can do reactions anymore, because I don't want to have to deal with this whole YouTube algorithm copyright bot bullshit any longer, so yeah. I needed to let all, get all the steam off my chest. Let me so yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.